on guys, you're watching episode two of The Last Ride. Alright, so we just pulled up to the gym. Uh, playing against a couple friends today, like 10 friends. Um, haven't played against him ever in Weber, I don't think. This one kid. He just showed up actually. So, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I feel confident in our team's ability to win this one. Um, I think we worked hard in practice that we didn't have this week. And I think that we'll be able to score more than them by the end of the game. I don't really know the analysis, I guess. I'll talk to you more at the end of the game. This episode is going to be more about the recovery after the game than uh, preparation before the game. So let's jump to the highlights. <laughs> Took the L, first loss in the regular season Weber game in over a year. Uh, played a good team. Really violent game, you know. I just think that our first rotation couldn't pull through. And now we're watching other games. I don't even have much to say about this one. We got a friend over here, Matt Lazy. Yeah, always sign and shoot. They don't want you to sign. They don't want you to sign shoes. Remember that. <laughs> uh, so I only had 15 today. I think Cal played a really good game on me. I played, I played an okay game on Cal. Kevin Slomecki really just took advantage of us, took advantage of our lower rotation. They're a really good defensive team. Uh, Cal carried that team though. Gotta give him props. And Slomecki. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, Gotta just, just gotta reflect on that loss a little bit. Come back two weeks. Not sure who we're playing though. We're here. Leaving the gym. Uh, I can't believe we just lost that game. First regular season loss in a long time. Look at this. This is style right here. I don't know if you guys know anything about style, but this is it. Uh, I'm glad I got to go in at the end though. Someone fouled out. The uh, whole thing about that game is breaking the press. I just don't think we had a plan, you know. We, we called timeout at one point to let our weaker rotation know what to do. They just didn't do it. They couldn't do it. Uh, that, that white team, good defensive team, I think they have a good year. All right, so now we're going uh, <coughs> to stroll back to the car. That game is Connor. Uh, you're going to see that in the highlights. You probably saw that. Every three he took, just straight in. I got hype and I have him. Look at my hair right now, also. Holy shit. I just saw in the reflection. Let me. I don't have a headband. I'm going to put a headband on when I get home. I look like a. <laughs> Can you even see me in that light? Not really. It's fine. Oh my god, I got to put a headband. Sorry about this look. It's Looks okay, like it's dark. Looks like I got a mullet right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hi.
How do you feel? I feel poor. Are you upset about this loss? I'm pretty upset about it. I mean, I'm not as upset. Like, I mean, we're one and one in the year. Still, obviously, in playoff contention. It's the second game of the year. I mean, we probably got to go seven and three to be a playoff team. Maybe six and four. If we're lucky, we'll be an eight seed. But then we'll have to play that team again. So what are you going to do better next time? I don't know. Next time I think we're going to split up the rotations a little bit because whoever, you know, we can't just sub in whenever. It'll be two even rotations. So I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking me or Connor go to the first rotation because if we're both in the same rotation, we're both not going to get the same amount of shots. If we're both separated, then we'll each get more shots. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I just got to keep grinding. You know Zach. Yeah. We've been brothers since he was born. <laughs> yeah. So let the game go. Uh, we lost. Uh, what happened? <laughs> Bullshit happened. Dude. All, right, so, all right. So pretty much, you know, you know, Cal and Sebeck are on that team. You know, James on the team. Yeah. Fast. Uh, you know how they're they're a good defensive team, right? You know that. Um, pretty much. Someone showed up late today, so me and Connor were stuck in the first rotation. Oh shoot! Who showed up late? Zach. Yeah. So we were stuck in the first rotation today. So, uh, I mean, Connor had 23 points, man. He hit every single shot. 23. The thing is, our second, our second rotation, they just could not get it done. You know, they couldn't break the press because mm -hmm. that team's a good, good team. You know, they press. Mm -hmm. um, so that's about it. it. So we were up by 15 at one point, end of our rotation, and we ended up giving up. <laughs> 17 unanswered points, so I'll just take it on the left side. That's crazy. This kid's got to show up on time, man. 17 unanswered points out of that rotation. 17-0 run, huh? 17-0 run. Final score is like, I don't know, 50, 53-48 or something. Are you kidding me? So, so you're saying if Jack Wiganski showed up on time, on time and you two could have played in the second rotation, you probably would have won. Maybe. Yeah, because, I don't know, if, uh, the thing is, I was thinking me and Connor should split up. Really? How many points did you have? Fifteen off game. And, uh, three. It's three of them. And what other stats? Like, uh, ten rebounds. Ooh, double-double. Four assists, all the Connor's threes. That's it right there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, three steals again. Yeah, I think our team model is going to be defensive fits. Shut up, Alan. Shout out Alan. Mm -hmm. Shout out Alan. So yeah, I'll, I'll watch that game film later. So, so, so good game. How many shots? He had a lot of steals on our second round. Because he was with the bad rotation. Yeah. So, he had a lot of steals against them. So you didn't have to go up against him? No. I had to go against him. I guarded Cal Logan. Oh, it was an even rotation? I like kind of shut him down. 10 to 10? Not really. I didn't yeah. really shut him down. Was it I didn't 10? shut him down at all. I don't know what I'm saying. Was it 10 to 10? So, you played the same rotation every time? Uh, yep. No, nope, they had nine. They had nine? No, they never have ten. They shout out to Toby. Shout out to Toby. Shout out to Toby. So Ron, Ron Bishop won one this year. Yeah, he wasn't even there today. So Glenn, Who coached? Yeah. Oh, Glenn. So Ron won one and oh, Glenn won one. All right. Nate, thanks for that talk, man. Thanks for that talk, man. See ya. See ya. See ya. Check it out. Nice try, man. Oh. <laughs> nice try, Hey, hey get him next time. Get him next time. Kid, this kid works harder than anybody I've ever met in my entire life. Look at him, he's about to go downstairs in the weight room. I see, I hear basketball's dribbling down there, you know. Yeah, about to grind. And Getting ready for next year. He's taking playing over next year. Taking over the Weber documentaries he's, next year. He's, he's pretty good. Down. He's pretty good. I'll give it to him. He's a good little basketball player. Yeah. And if he keeps on working, if he keeps on working, he's going to be just like his, uh, his elder brother. His elder brother. <laughs> hey, Griffin, the one that's making the documentary. So I'll see you guys later. I'm going to go work out. He's going to go get a lift. Pump. Down on Muscle Beach, pumping iron bone. Pumping all these on my cellular phone, you know how I do. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, we finish each other's lines. Oh. Switch, switch. switch. <laughs> yeah, you know what's good. Yeah, you, you know, know. yeah, you know, you know. Hell yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah. That was my brother, Zach. Alright, so right now we're about to go uh, edit the other documentaries, you know. They're gonna come out probably two weeks after the uh, original. And we're going to get those up for you. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to keep this thing rolling tomorrow. We're going to show you what I do the day after the game.